Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop CS6 Extended, and today I came across a designing gear wheel in Photoshop tutorial, and I was fascinated because I'm always fascinated by 3D that's done the really difficult way. Um, and this goes to about 30 steps, and um, it's just uh, a lot of work, and I'm, I'm basically just lazy when it comes to this kind of drawing. And this has a lot more steps in between, so it's 30 plus all the additional steps you have to do to create the shadows here. And it's a great tutorial um, for doing it in a 2D way, um, but we're going to do it in 3D. So I came across some images or some patterns here off this website and some really nice patterns of gears. And what I'm going to do is going to grab the magic wand and select one of them here. I'm just going to choose this one here. I, I could use the shape tool and do the same thing um, using all the vector objects in Photoshop. You could do this with any of these objects. Um, but I'm going to do a shape because I'm going to show you that you know you can just pull images off the web, make silhouettes, do multiple shapes and gears. It's it's a fun activity. So all we have to do is go to the 3D extru extrusion from current selection. You want you do not want to do select a layer here because it's going to select all the pixels in that layer and just create a, basically the square of this pasted image here. So we're going to choose current selection, and it's going to create the 3D object. Now let's change the perspective. We'll pull it down here. And you've created your 3D object. And you could do this, like I said, um, for almost any image on the web. There are some limitations with the complexity of the selections, but um, if you come across those, let me know. Um, so let's go ahead and move this around here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this about 90 degrees, but let's be exact here. Let's go over here. It's 91 degrees. That's pretty darn close. Let's just change it to 90. And then I'm going to say drop it to the ground plane so the shadow is looking good there. So Let's zoom in. I'm selecting my camera tools here and moving the object here closer so we can look at it there. And that's really it. You could actually just say render right now and you're done. You don't have to go through any other of those drawing processes, which is great. Not to say that you, you, know, you shouldn't do it one way or the other. It's really up to you, whatever is the look that you're looking for or the time you want to spend on it. That's just another way, another technique that you can use in your arsenal. So. We could dive in a little bit deeper here and you can say, what about changing the material? What if I want it to look different? I can make it look like a cork type object, which doesn't really make much sense. Or I can make a nice metal here. And I have some additional metal materials, which they are free. And you can see default, fabric, fun, glass metal, a whole bunch of different ones here. They're free. You can download them here from Get More Content. There's a materials download there and, and actually some light sets and other things there. So I selected that. And maybe I want to change the shadow. I'm not sure I'm satisfied with the angle of that shadow. And I know I put this in another tutorial, but if you hold shift down and click on that shadow, you can drag that shadow to wherever you want. It kind of makes it easy to position things. It's really nice to have. Make a softer shadow. And we're just going to render that. That's it. If you have any questions, please leave me a message. Thanks.